Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. I have another Ameritron AL572 in for repair. So I'll go over everything that needs to be done. And if there's anything additional, I'll cover that at the end. Okay, so I have to reinstall the knob and the pointer. I, t I took that off, it was rubbing a little bit, so I have to reinstall it. So, first off, someone messed around with the turn spacing on the coil. He said that he had low output on something, and so I'll fix that. I'll uh, compress them back to where they should be. The SO239 connectors need to be changed. In, out, it's real easy. This one has a teeny bit of grip. Well, more grip, but this one has none whatsoever so customer complained about uh, losing his receive sometimes and having to click the relay so I I'm going to clean it really well with deoxic gold I offered to change it but he, he wants me to uh, see if I can bring it back to life with cleaning it so I'm going to do that I'm going to clean the other relay clean the band switch the input rotary switch um, press the socket clips at gas discharge tubes and uh, I'm going to fix the buck boost over here. It's not wired correctly. And I will, uh, those are stuck, I'll leave those. So I'll, I'll repair that. And, you know, it's really critical, like I said in the other video. Uh, most people have 125 or more. Some have a little over 120, but you don't want the tap wired below what you have because then you end up with more play voltage, you end up with more filament voltage and you just don't want that so uh, also the series resistor for the 12 volt accessory RCA jack is blown apart so uh, I will replace that and go through the rest of it okay so I'll see you guys soon okay, I'm pretty much done with everything inside just have to replace the uh, series resistor with the 12 volt accessory line uh, Jeff, just so people know, that's a, it's not listed in the manual, in the schematic. It's a 10 ohm half watt resistor. So if someone were to put a short on it, it'll open. Or if they were to overload it, it'll open. Okay, so I noticed that these switches were like sideways. And this one ended up popping out. I pushed it back. I mean, like you could see the inside. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if he whacked them or what, but... This thing had all sorts of surprises in it, so someone really messed with it. So, um, and then reinstall the pointer thing, just so people know. They're supposed to be, and you have the knob, you have the pointer that slips over, there's a screw that goes through the pointer thing into the reduction drive, but there's supposed to be a split washer between the red piece and the actual vernier drive, so that spaces it out a little bit. So it was like really, really close. The panel is missing. So I'm going to reinstall that. I'm going to look like I have a couple new switches here. And I will swap these out. First time I've ever had to change switches on one of these. So I don't know what the guy did. I mean, it turns on and off. But these are, these will end up failing. Okay, so see you guys soon. I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL572. So... I'll go over everything I did. I replaced the power on off switch and the standby switch. Standby one popped right apart once I started taking it, taking it out. Uh, here's one of the SO239s. I don't know what happened to the other ones around here somewhere. I always change both. I put in high quality Teflon ones, tested it on all bands. Uh, I don't recommend 17. The plate chokes a lot of times have problems they'll have a series resonance and they'll you can end up cooking it so customer wanted a video on 20 meters so i sent that to him direct placed the point i reinstalled the pointer replaced that split washer that was missing put the knob back on so like i said new so 239 connectors clean the tr slash bias relay really well I always offer the option to replace it, but the contacts looked okay, and he just wanted it cleaned. He had the problem with his receive, so now it's all set. 
Uh, the resistor did not show up, but I removed the old one. Should be here tomorrow. I'll put that in. That's just for the accessory 12 volt RCA jack. Acts like a fuse if you try to overload the circuit or put a short on it. Some people hook the key line up to it by accident, they'll put a dead short on it. Okay, so clean the soft start relay, reconfigured the buck boost, tighten up on hardware on this side, check the meter protection diode, added gas discharge tubes, got a brand new set of Pentalabs 572s, awesome company. Great customer service, fix this solder joint down here, tighten up on hardware over on this side, compress the coil. Didn't have a metal oxide variester, so I didn't have to remove that. Check the air variable caps, no arc damage. So this amp is good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I only work on the amplifiers you see in my videos. I no longer service uh, FL2100Bs, but I work on everything else that you see. So, like I said, if you need an amp repaired, give me a call. Thanks for watching. 73.